Oh, it's filming already. Um, okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new video and as you can tell by the title, it is on the new Fenty Beauty Concealer and Setting Powder. I went and picked it up yesterday. I was just so excited. So I decided to try it out on camera, let you all know my thoughts and everything because I'm just in love with the, um, what is the primer and the foundation. So I'm like, I bet I'm going to love this concealer. So let's check it out. So I'm about to start with the primer, of course, one of my favorites. The fragrance, it has a fragrance, it's not like too bad or anything or too strong. Usually I set my primer with the powder and I've been using the Laura Mercier Translucent Deep. And that's almost out, so um, I'll use this Hazelnut Fenty setting powder as my primer set powder thingy whatever because I didn't get like the banana shade or anything because I have a lot of banana powders seeing like the little dots that the powder come out it's like FB Fenty Beauty so cute I like this packaging and not much is coming out but that's good I don't want it to be like everywhere but <laughs> Taking this Real Techniques brush. Usually I do this with my damp beauty blender, but this has a fragrance too. It smells good, but it's not like too overwhelming or like unbearable or anything. And I put this in like the areas where I get oily and the areas where I know my uh, my smile lines, they crease a lot. Well, I learned this trick from Jackie Ione. If you like set your primer with powder, you don't have to put on as much foundation. And I found that to be true. So that's another reason why I do it. like it made a difference already and I didn't even do it everywhere and I have this big old sponge from Real Techniques like I usually use a beauty blender the small Real Techniques but um I saw a client a customer buying this I'm like thinking I should get that while I was bringing her up but so I got it and it's pink so um I have the foundation in 430, which I think is almost gone. And then I got 440. Like, yeah, I took a big risk last year when I got these. I bought two. Didn't even know if I was going to like it or not. But, um, and 440, I feel like it's, it might work. I don't know. I haven't used it in a while because it's winter, you know, I got a lighter. So, let's see. Big old body sponges, like the heck. This is like a matte foundation, full coverage. Um, I'm not too much worried about getting in there because that's what the concealer is for. What the? Cause I like Halo brows. And I only concealed the top of my brows today because I felt like they weren't precise, precise enough. Usually I don't have to, but Instead of wiping them off, I just concealed the top. So I'm trying to get as close as possible. Okay. 
Okay. So this is how the foundation looks on me. I'm about to, you see, it's not that bad. You can't really tell in person, probably on camera. But sometimes I like my foundation to be like darker anyway because I'm going to highlight which is going to make it lighter than contour. And it's going to all like bring it back together anyway. So I'm about to take more of the powder and like set my face a little bit again, not too much. And this time I am going to use the wet sponge. I don't know why this foundation is looking so red today. Hmm. Anybody else have smile lines? You know, that crease, like, what works for y'all? I need some more tips. Okay, now I'm about to take the handy dandy concealer. I know they said like um, whatever foundation number you get, that's the concealer you should get because they already like match it as the like a suggested um, concealer shade. But I went lighter because I like a brighter highlight and I feel like I have enough concealers closer to my regular shade anyway. I don't know. I just got a lighter concealer. This is 390. Let's hope it's not too light. I'm so scared. And this is the little tube. It looks just like the the foundation, which is so cute. Little baby one. Let's see. Oh, that's not too bad. Let's see, if I would have got the suggested shade, it probably wouldn't have been a highlight at all. I love getting new concealer. This time to blend this out, I'm taking a beauty blender because it's smaller and I need to get up in there. I think I'm falling already. You know how y'all fall too hard for somebody so fast? I feel like I'm falling for this concealer. Like, look how that just blended. Like, hmm. I'm in a much better mood. I was kind of like, all uh, mundane is that like the word is that what I mean like so unmotivated and so if you like lacking motivation or something like get you some Fenty concealer I knew Riri wouldn't disappoint, like... <sighs> the concealer does, like, blend and move around more than the foundation. The foundation, once you put it on, it, like, stays put. I wish I would've got the banana one, too, to, like, set it, like... I ain't trying to spend all my money. They say this concealer covers up everything like dark circles, wrinkles, discoloration, bad decisions, regrets, all that. So, definitely gonna need a lot of this. Most people, when they're testing out a concealer, they do one side with the sponge, one side with the brush. Lately, I've been doing my concealer with the brush, but. I don't know. Should I do one side? I don't know. Okay. I'll, I'll do this side with my beauty blender and then this side with the brush. Because, like, it's so hard because I never blend it all the way through. I just go back and forth. So, let me do this side really quick. So, if I end up going back and forth, it's a mistake. I'm going to try not to, but let's see. Why is it going out of focus?
Okay, so this side is blended. Let me show y'all with the brush. And I'm gonna do this side with that broody blender. I think I'm liking the brush side. I'll blend it out better than this side that I'm doing now. So I'm going to finish the rest of my face and um I'm going to do a I'm going to do a final thoughts. I want to set with this again, but I don't know if it's light enough to set my highlight with. So I'm going to just go back into my Sasha Buttercup like I've been using. What the? Yeah, see, I need to um get another Fenty powder. This ha hazelnut can be used as like my overall shade, but in order to set my highlight, I will need a lighter shade. So I'm probably gonna go back and get um banana. Y'all don't know the obstacles I went through to film this video. I just feel like like. <laughs> The devil was kind of busy. I have to slow him down like I'm filming this video. So I finished the rest of my face and everything. So now it's time for gloss. And I had the Fenty Glow. So I bought another one because it's all out. And the new one, Fussy. She has a third one. It's like a clear crystal type that I didn't really care for so I didn't get it so I already know about Fenty Gloves I had it before so I'm gonna use Fussy this time and I already have like a little oil on my lips from my whatever I use but um let's see I hope I don't need a liner with this or anything and they smell so good like thingy applicator thingy it's like so thick and Perfect for my big lips. <laughs> so, like, I noticed while I was um, off camera applying the rest of my makeup, I noticed, like, and I'm so close up so y'all can see, um, I did crease, like, under here, which is expected because I creased anyway. I don't know, like, if I waited too long to blend it out or if I didn't, like, I don't know, but, um... That pretty much happens just by with any concealer. It's not noticeable. Like, I notice it because I'm, like, right here in the mirror, like, up in my face. Um, what is this? But, um, when that happens, usually I just get a Q-tip and clean it up now. Oh, I can find a Q-tip. I just had them. Try to, like, take off the product that's right there, like, sitting, like... Try to like smooth over the crease. Like I don't know how to explain, but I do this like with my small eyes, but they haven't like creased yet. So hmm. But like I mean I feel like it's really similar to the foundation. If you like the foundation, you're gonna like the concealer. Um how many shades? It's like so many shades. I know they added more shades to the foundation. I think it may be 50 concealer shades, which is a lot. Um, see, the creases go away when I do this. But, I can't walk around like that all day, so. But yeah, this is the final look using the Fenty Concealer and Setting Powder. Um, if y'all want to see the difference, like how it looked earlier when... My face was like super red and my neck was way lighter. This is how it looks now after every other product is on. Um, I don't have anything bad to say. 
the gloss of course i love the gloss i knew i was gonna love the new one fussy um it's super pretty the packaging with everything is like amazing like, look at this like and then the top like everything is so pretty like it's so pretty like when you don't want to use it you ever have a product like that like sometimes i buy two or something just so i don't have to like use it if it's so pretty um, so yeah, most people do a wear test. I don't know if I'm going to do a wear. So if I don't, this will be the end of this video. If I do, y'all will obviously see in the next clip. I don't have anything planned today. I'm just going to sit in the house all day. So boring. No, I don't have any friends here. Anyway. But um, I have a lot of homework, so I will be doing that. That's about it. Um... I mean, there's nothing I can do to, like, really test this makeup out other than to wear it all day. So, um, like I said, I don't know if this is the end of the video. Let me stop rambling. Or if I'll come back with the wear test in some hours or so. So, um, anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Comment if you have tried any of the new products. If you plan on trying them, let me know if you enjoyed this video, which I want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Share this video everything so thank you so much for watching